at 7 o'clock. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Gene LaVanche. And I'm Heather Hedges in for Elizabeth Hopkins this morning. All right, hope you had a nice weekend. This Monday morning, we are dealing with some pretty serious cold conditions mm -hmm. out there. Sherry's back now, and Sherry, well, yeah, factor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like we were talking about, this is really going to wake you up and start the week off with it a is. jolt, right? Well, hopefully you have the option of, like, preheating the car, you know, going out, starting it, warming up a little bit, because yeah. the yeah. fingers are going to be freezing on the steering wheels, and chances are you're going to have to scrape a little windshield as well if you're parked outside. So 32 degrees in Boston right now, but we've got a lot of 20s out there this morning with 26 in Beverly, 22 in Plymouth. It is 19 degrees on the vineyard right now, 18 in Nashua, New Hampshire. We've got lower 20s in Fitchburg and lower 20s in Bedford this morning. So, uh, it's cold. <laughs> I think the 20s illustrate that perfectly. And Walpole this morning, even at 8 a.m., it's probably going to be about 27 degrees. And then the warm up really kicks off. This time of year, we don't get much shift in those temperatures until after 8 in the morning. The angle of the sun is just too low to really warm us up before that. We've got high temperatures flirting with about 50. Mix of sun and clouds this afternoon. Tomorrow is looking mostly dry. We do have a couple spot showers possible later in the day. The main rain and our weather alert is going to be focused on Wednesday and I'm going to break down more of that timeline ahead. Kelly Sullivan is staying, but it's winter. I mean, it should be cold, right? Uh, so you might need those extra layers just compared to some of the weekend weather we had. It is feeling much uh, colder out there, much nippier out there this morning. I would suggest a hat or gloves if you're going to be standing still at a bus stop initially this morning. High temperatures make it into the 40s and upper 40s at that this afternoon. Still cool enough that you're going to want to keep that winter jacket on hand. The weather pattern today, though, we've not a couple degrees above average this afternoon. So even though we've got a kind of cool start, I like where we're going today. Temperatures overnight fall back into the 30s. Not as cool when you wake up tomorrow morning and then tomorrow things are warmer. Obviously, we've got some 50s back in the forecast. This these 50s, though, it, it doesn't come with sunshine. It's not going to be bright and balmy. It's going to be cloudy and mostly dry in Boston. There is the chance for a spot shower in the afternoon. And we'll probably see an occasional shower pop up in central Massachusetts. So future cast here, I'm just going to jump right into Tuesday's forecast because today is so quiet. Noontime tomorrow still looks dry. Western New England is getting in on some showers, but during the afternoon, you'll see that we have the chance for a spot shower or two. Boston North and West in particular. I don't see very much down across southeastern Massachusetts. Even this, you know, if we have rain like this at 7 p.m. for that evening commute on Tuesday, this is not going to cause any major slowdowns. It's just a little bit of light rain. It gets heavier and steadier late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. This is 7 a.m. Wednesday, and we just have on and off rain all day straight into the evening. There is no good time on Wednesday for jumping out without an umbrella. It's going to be soggy from start to finish. Weather concerns, though, it's just steady rain. I'm not expecting flooding. I'm not expecting wind damage. It's just the showers, and that's why we have a weather alert on Wednesday. Now, we do have our Stuff the Sleigh event that's happening at Jordan's Furniture in Avon starting at 8 a.m. That's rain or shine. It's it's super easy to jump out of your car, hand over the new unwrapped toy that we can donate uh, and then be on your way. So I don't see the rain really. Cool. Yeah, I, I mean, for sure it is cold, but it's also good looking outside. So we've got a clear sky over Boston. This is going to end up being the pick of the week. We even recover nicely into the afternoon, but then we've got rain Tuesday night into Wednesday especially heavy during the day on Wednesday. We've got a cloudy weekend at the very least. At the most, we've got the chance for some on and off rain. So that weekend forecast is a little up in the air. You guys have been great. I've had some photos from you this morning, the weather from your window. You can send your pictures to weather window at boston25.com or send them to me on Twitter at Sherry Spear. And in an hour, I'm going to be highlighting some of the great photos that you've been sending in this morning. It's sunshine for the wind this morning with 27 degrees at 8 a.m. Lower 30s at 9 a.m upper 30s by 10 a.m. and the warm up continues to about 50 in the Boston area this afternoon. Lots of upper 40s, lower 50s in southern New England. It's not a huge range in temperatures, but I think you're going to like the lighter winds. You're going to like the bright skies today. Overnight, we do have some increasing clouds expected. Temperatures won't be quite as cool. It will drop into the 30s and that's how you'll wake up. These overnight lows will tend to bottom out around sunrise tomorrow morning. And from there, we've got highs in the 50s, which is definitely a warm up. Uh, we've got some balmy kind of mild temperatures, but with it, we've got a ton of clouds, especially in eastern mass. And the further inland you go, the better the chance for just a few showers. So we'll be on an early alert Tuesday night 
into Wednesday. You can see during the afternoon on Tuesday. It's not like Wednesday. This is a morning commute at 7 a.m. We just speed right through the day because there is no great time out there. It's rain all day long on and off showers at times heavy. You can see evening commute. Certainly the potential for some steadier, heavier rain as well. So that's why we have a weather alert for your Wednesday Good morning, everybody. Now at 8 o'clock. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Jean Levanchi and I'm Kelly Sullivan. So we are uh, back from the weekend. Mm -hmm. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend, uh, but uh, some serious cold conditions when you wake up this yeah. morning. You're like, whoa, what happened? Yeah, so the warm weather that we had at least on Saturday, long gone, yeah. long gone, guys. I mean, we are back to freezing temperatures this morning. So first thing you need to know, Boston might be at 35 degrees. The city center is running a lot warmer than the burbs this morning. Norwood, 26, Bedford, 23, same in Fitchburg. We've got 20s in Hyannis and on the Vineyard right now as well. So it is chilly. Now the warm up today somewhere like Walpole has us back in the mid 30s by about 9 a.m. Uh, you can see by lunchtime we're in the 40s and we're pushing almost 50 degrees this afternoon with a blend of sun and scattered clouds. This is actually going to end up being one of the better days of the whole week. We've got bright weather today. Uh, temperatures are going to be cool, but on par with where we should be this time of the year. It gets warmer Tuesday to Wednesday. We bring in rain chances starting kind of lightly tomorrow, but then by Wednesday we're going to be on a weather alert and that's just for some miserable washout weather. Back to you. Sherry, right now what you're going to need is you head out the door this morning and uh going to be a little bit nicer today, but right now as we it's temperatures cold. are going to warm, but it is flat out cold. It's this just morning. cold. I mean, you think back to the weekend, the weekend, I mean, I know it was wet on Saturday, but it was relatively mild, which was nice. And now yes. it's just like December slapping you in the face. It's back. It's cold. It's going to be sweaters and jackets this afternoon. At least we've got the sunshine today because we don't have a lot more sun in the forecast this week. All right. And I know a lot of rain's coming too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. keep eye on that. Let's check in with Kelly. Morning, everybody. So it is a freezing out there this morning. We've got temperatures in the 20s. You're going to have to scrape your car if it's been parked outside. So uh, there's definitely frosty conditions on all the local cars because it is so cold and it's freezing. So dress warmly this morning, especially any of the kiddos or, or adults that might be waiting at a bus stop this morning. That's when it's going to start to get to you. But it is going to be nice and bright. And with the sunshine in place, we get a little rebound back into the upper 40s this afternoon. It's actually going to be a tiny bit above average later on today. I mean, you're not going to love it, right? I mean, we've got the sunshine, which is nice. We've got the light winds, which is nice. Upper 40s are still going to feel pretty chilly. So keep the uh, the long sleeves, the sweaters, the jackets on hand throughout your Monday plans. Uh, you'll see temperatures are back in the 50s Tuesday, Wednesday, but despite the balmy temperatures. It's going to be cloudy and it's going to get wet out there. We don't have a ton of rain in your Tuesday forecast. We do have a ton of rain in your Wednesday forecast. Wednesday looks like a washout. I've got the latest on that timeline on the Boston 25 Morning News until uh, 9 o'clock this morning because the World Cup is going to take over at 9 a.m. So you can get your local forecast there, updates every 10 minutes. And um, yeah, we're talking about the cold today, some rain for the middle of the week, and a pretty uncertain weekend forecast right now. So lots of room for improvement in that Saturday and Sunday forecast. But right now, we're going to have to speak about it kind of generally because I'm getting a lot of different indications. So and that's what I've got for you today. Stay warm uh, on your way into work and school this morning, and I will see you on the Boston 25 Morning News. Bye, guys.